Hey, Scruffy. I'm right on time. Looks like you've been waiting. Yeah, I've been on a meow tonight. I'm not as loud as uh, some of the previous nights. So, I'm going to give you a flea pill tonight. I haven't given you one in a while. I'm not sure if you actually need it, but yeah, you've been grooming intensely uh, a couple times the past few nights. So, I think maybe you could benefit from a flea pill. But it might be overkill, I'm not sure. I hate the waste of things, though, they're kind of expensive. <clears throat> but I realized that we're right about the three year anniversary when we started this. <clears throat> so I'm thinking maybe tomorrow I'm going to give you a special meal. But uh, if I do that, I think I want to give you a flea pill tonight so you. You're completely uh, de-infest it, and then you can enjoy tomorrow's meal without having to uh, de infest it with fleas. And yeah, I don't want to put the flea pill in the good food. <clears throat> so I'll give you the pill tonight, and then tomorrow you can enjoy your meal if everything goes to plan. Okay, so I'm going to get on the table and get the glove and sit in the chair. How can we turn away? How can we zoom by? I'm over here. So yeah, Scrip has been doing that the past few nights or days. He zooms right past me when I sit down and he comes to the chair instead of uh, sitting or standing on the mat like he normally does, like right now. And he zoomed right past me and I can't reach him. Last few times he approached the red plate indicating he might want his food, but I gotta socialize him. So can't give him the suit yet. But just a moment ago, yeah, he zoomed past me, but he wasn't near the red plate, so I'm not sure what that's about. So, yeah, anyway, yeah, we're... I didn't keep perfect records, so I actually don't remember exactly when I started this, but... I think the, the count that I keep on the description, I think, yeah, that's, I think we're on the three-year mark, so, and I think I, yeah, I remember it was this time of year when I started, although I also remember, I think, yeah, three years ago, it was really, really hot. So today is actually not too bad. Um, it was warmer. It's warmer again today, so it's yeah, it is heating up. It looks like we're on a warming trend again. But uh, um, yeah, it's nice weather, so it's not not miserable weather. It's a little warm in the house, but. Other than that, it's not too bad. So yeah, the house didn't cool down easily last night, so I tried to avoid turning on the AC. But yeah, it was one of those really warm nights where... Yeah, it's too warm, so the house still won't cool down. So it's kind of annoying. Probably should have just turned on the AC.
So, anyway, yeah, I guess, yeah, tomorrow I'll talk more about three years of Scruffy, I guess. Well, tonight, or today, yeah, we need to get through the motions of a fleet bill, so I'm hoping that, yeah, tomorrow he'll be in tip-top shape, and then he can fully enjoy himself. Also, my food shipment from Chewy, I think, will arrive tomorrow, I think. If, if, according to the shipping schedule, if it's correct. So, um, so I might have a new gift for him. So I have a, I bought a self-grooming brush. I talked about that last night. So, so uh, yeah, one of one of you who commented suggested such a thing after his, uh, yeah, there's that grooming, so that's why I think he needs a flea pill. So yeah, one of you suggested uh, a self-grooming brush after his uh, dreadlock. Maybe uh, it would help prevent uh, other future dreadlocks like that. I'm not sure, but they weren't that expensive, so I'd give it a try. So, so maybe I'll have it tomorrow for his uh, little anniversary party. Although I probably I don't know if I'm going to install it. I'm thinking maybe what I should do is try to brush him with it at least once to get a scent on it, and then then I should mount it. So maybe tomorrow night if I get it, I'll bring it out, and when he starts eating his food, I'll try brushing him with it instead of the normal brush. We'll see. I don't know if I want to risk it. So I don't want to freak him out um, you know, when he's getting good food. So my plan is I'm going to use uh, that really high quality cat food that my neighbor gave me a while back. So I still have a couple cans left of it. So I've been saving it just in case of uh, emergency or a special occasion, so it seems like yeah, should use it for this special occasion. So it's that yeah, high quality cat food. It's chicken and egg, I think. So it's such high quality cat food that uh, it's human edible. So <laughs> it's probably uh, better food than I eat sometimes. But yeah, we'll talk about that tomorrow. <clears throat> so yeah, I'm getting shipment notifications for all the things I bought the other day, so I'm going to be getting packages probably for the next week or so. I use free shipping, so it's going to take a while for a bunch of things to actually get here. And let's see, I went for another bike ride today. So I'm still, you know, trying to test out my bike and see what it can do. So I went up the exposed mountainside again with the really tough climbs. And yeah, I'm using the new granny gear, as I call it. And uh, yeah, it's still a challenge, but I... Yeah, let's check these around the glove. Still a challenge, so I wish it was a little easier. I was hoping I had better granny gear, but uh, I'm at least doing it. Saw a lot of quails today for some reason. So there was a pack of quails when I first started the climb, and then there was another pack of quails at the very peak at the observation point where I was looking looking down. And then I think there was another flock as I was going down the other side of the mountain. And they're on the ground, so they're not they're not flying or anything. And then let's see, I saw a couple deer on the way down. So I think it was a uh, yeah young 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 deer. And, uh, on the trail, and then uh, a little further down, there was a 
like a teenage deer and climb up the mountainside, get away from me. Okay, let's get your food. Okay, so... Let's see if I can, uh... get through this kind of fast. So... Flea pill... can start acting fairly fast. I think they say 20 minutes. But that might be an estimate. <clears throat> but what I don't want is uh, to be out here when the fleas start jumping off Scruffy. So they'll jump on me. Okay, so let's see, lunch, yeah, Scruffy is sitting right in front of the door again, so took up a bunch of time before I could come out. Hey, Scruffy. You're under the chair, I can't see you there. How are you doing? Oh wow, coming in. So it's supposed to be uh, warmer again today. Are you ready for lunch? I'm on the earlier side. Yeah. You can sit there and get in liking, liking that spot recently. Bring out your food once you move. Yeah. So if I try getting up now, you might hiss at me. Yeah. So with the food in hand. <clears throat> Some comfortable spot. So it's accumulated a lot of fur over the past few years. I used to sit there a lot. I stand up. Bring it here. Yeah. Ready for your food? No? Just like sitting there? Spot. Maybe the draft there. down get the glove on sit in the chair so you know, Scrippy did that last night and yesterday passed right by me went to the plate it's almost as if he wants to eat Without getting pets. Can't imagine that. Yeah. Can I socialize you, Scruffy? So long at the door, probably have to cut pet short. I'm actually supposed to be doing something right now. So 
Okay, I need to cut the lunch shorter, but uh, it's probably not going to happen. <laughs> so, just have to deal with it. Yeah, I'll get the food now. Okay. Tonight's dinner is mini pate. I think it's the real chicken and tuna. With, um, so, and then, yeah, the kibble and uh, the two sweet chicken scraps. And then, of course, yeah, I crushed the flea pill, mixed it into the pate, and everything else. Else. And this is also my bike ride. So I went through another, on this particular route, there's a kind of V-shaped valley. So you go down one really steep section and then it kind of comes straight back up on the other side. Um, on my old bike, yeah, there's yeah, so much friction on my old bike. I can't make it up very far on the other side, so I basically have to pedal up most of the way. Yeah, this new bike gets pretty far. Um, this particular valley is not even, so it's uh, the dip down is longer than the initial climb up, so what it is, it goes like maybe a little more than halfway up and then it flattens out and then it continues a steeper climb all the way back up. So before my old bike, yeah, I wouldn't even make it up like that halfway thing. So this one makes it up yeah, the halfway thing, no problem. And then I still have momentum to keep going on, uh, for a while on the, the more gradual incline. So that's pretty nice. <clears throat> and because yeah, I don't have so because I'm using an alternate route because the my main route the the main uh, trail is closed. I'm having a hard time comparing like how long this route's taking me. But if I estimate, I'm thinking yeah, it's knocking off at least ten minutes, maybe possibly even fifteen or twenty minutes on my ride because of this bike. It's pretty impressive. Or perhaps uh, more accurately, that's how bad my old bike was. <laughs> so yeah, this is a pretty big step up for me, even though it's a entry level used bike. <laughs> yeah. So one of these days, if I get a an actual good bike, it'd be interesting to see what I can do. Um, I start, yeah, I was yeah, searching the internet to see if there is a, a gear, a better gear um, I can replace the existing one I have. So you have to replace the whole sprocket. And what I found was they actually don't make them much bigger than the one I already have, which I was a little disappointed to see. Um, but I finally actually stumbled upon one that actually might be what well, is bigger. Or has bigger uh, gear. Um, I think my existing one is it's like uh, they call it a thirty a thirty four T T for tooth. I think it's thirty four. I'm not exactly sure on that. It's close to that. And this other one I found it's I think a forty T. So it's. So it might make a difference. I ran it through some calculators, gear ratio calculators. I think it's 
think it was close to like a 12% improvement, so that could could be a lot, I don't know. So work, t work 10%, 12% or less on the plane. Unfortunately, the gear is, you know, it's like 70 bucks, and I actually don't know if it actually will work. So, move the balls. So, I really want Scruffy to eat everything tonight because the food pills in there. But, okay. Drop some kibble. Two pieces of kibble that I accidentally got stuck to the finger of the glove and they dropped out and uh, pulled the glove out. The, the pill is mostly in the pate, so it's probably not that big of a deal. Fortunately, it's a really small pill, so there's actually not that much powder after I crush it. So we tried to put a little bit more rotisserie chicken juice in the bowl tonight, which I think may help Scruffy clean the bowl a little better. And yeah, he did a pretty good job. So one piece of kibble left and so little, little tiny drops of pate here and there. I'll put that on my red plate for him. Okay. I think we're about done, so I'm going to try not to stick around because he has uh, fleas that are going to start jumping off of him. Okay, so... Whoa, where's he going? I think he just jumped over the blue blanket. Okay, thanks for watching. See you next time. Bye. And I'm in the door yet. So I'm standing halfway between the door right now. There's only a little bit of food left. Scrippy got it Nice, Scruffy.